Welcome back to Brighter Shores. We have been having a lot of fun playing this game and I haven't even gotten a chance to explore all the world. So we're going to dive in today and see what fun there is to have. Okay, and here we are. So as you can see, there's a lot of people running around this world. Oh my goodness. I haven't really had a chance to explore a lot of it. Uh, so that's what we're going to be diving into today. So the main story says that we need to level up. Corbel Benz has told me to talk to Robin Knockright in the training ground to do my bow training. Get my total level to 60. Okay, I think I can do that. That didn't seem like it'd be too hard. Let's go see what's happening with old Robin. Man, I'm still just blown away by how pretty this game is. Robin Knockright. I have to keep my bow skills finely tuned if we're <laughs> if we are to defend Oport. Yeah, well, you know. Yeah. Can you show me how to use a bow? I only have time to teach the most promising recruits. Half of you won't last the month anyway. It's a little bold. It's a very bold statement to make. Okay, so I have to be a level 15 guard. Okay. Well, I think we can do that. Do I hit the dummies? Let me see. Let's read the quest guide. <coughs> I need to reach guard level 15 to start my bow training. Doesn't really say how to do it. Um, I think there is some stuff that we can fight if we explore around a little bit. So why don't we go explore? And we'll pet the cat for good luck. Goodness, there's a lot of people. So we currently have this sword and it is a common recruits sword. Hmm. Let me check this place out and see what is in here. Old Street West. I don't know where to go to fight stuff. So we're going to keep navigating because I've never been to any of this. Ooh, okay, I can change my looks there. No, I don't really care too much about that. Old Street East. Discover. A Death Crow. Well, this one's level two. That one's level two. That one's level two. So it looks like I can fight the level two ones. Well, let's do it. Let's get our first taste of combat. If you want to retreat from battle, you can click here to cast a new immunity spell. Don't leave it too late. It only takes a few seconds to cast. Um, I don't think I'm going to do any immunity spells. I think I can take it. Well, I say that. <laughs> I appear to be losing pretty bad. Do I risk it? Nah, I'm gonna... Uh, yeah. No. <laughs> okay. Well, I died. That's not very fun. What happens when you die? Oh, you just respond to the infirmary. <laughs> okay. Oh, you were knocked out. I administered a healing potion. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. You can get healing potions that I... I don't know why I didn't think to do that. Let me see. In my inventory, I have some... I have an eel. I don't really think an eel is going to help me too much in battle. So what I'm going to do... Can I sell the eel to Kevin? I like that name. I had a friend named Kevin. He's a good guy. I don't have anything that I can sell. Okay. Let's go... I think there's a fisher shop that's right up here that I might be able to sell my eel to. And I think it's, I think he's right up here. Yeah. No. Yeah, 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 fishmonger. Okay. So I can sell him my eel. I don't need that anyway. But what I do need are some potions. And I think I actually have some because when I did the, the tutorial, I gathered a lot of stuff. And I, I want to say that I put some potions in the potion bank. I'm pretty sure I have it. So let's open this up. Yeah, I have two healing potions, so I'm going to withdraw both of them. So now in my inventory, I have a 10% healing potion. So now let's go back and try to fight. Well, hold on. Everyone's got armor. 
Is there an armor shop that I can visit? Let's see. I know there's death claws there. And fish breams. I don't know where I would go to find Quartermaster. Does the Quartermaster sell armor? That's what I want to know. I don't think he does. Buy. No, he only he only sell or you can only sell to him. Yeah. Well, this is no good. How do I get armor? I don't really know what to do. Um, okay. Maybe I'll just go and try to fight the, the Death Claws. <laughs> is, that, is that what they were? Death Claws? I'll go try to fight some more Death Claws. The bird things. It's on the map. It'll tell me. Death Crow. Fight the Death Crow. And since I have a healing potion, maybe I'll be a little better. Oh, I can't equip that during combat. Oh, okay. Well, maybe I'll get lucky. So far, I'm winning. Hmm. No, let's go. And down goes the death crow. I got some cool stuff. And I'm a level three. Okay, so I'm a little bit better now. Is my HP... I need to equip that. You can equip two different potions and you can equip up to 20 doses of each. Cool. Well, I've got two of them. I think I'm gonna fight some more of these guys. I mean, it's only gonna get easier as I level up, right? <laughs> Besides, I got these that I can rely on now. And it appears that my health gets full after every battle. I, I think that's a pretty cool little idea too. And down you go for HP. You can't, you can't get better than that. And I, I think I'm getting pretty decent money. Oh, hello. What are you? Enchantress shop. What does an enchantress shop do? Would you like me to enchant your equipment? <laughs> well, I mean, that sounds pretty cool. What is enchanting and how much does it cost? I can enchant equipment attuning to its owner. Person using their enchanted equipment will more likely become skilled at using it. Okay, it's only a slight XP boost, but it doesn't wear off. So over enough time, it'll add up a substantial amount. Unfortunately, it's a rather expensive process as the regions I need for enchantment are expensive. Finally, I refuse to enchant weapons and armor. We'll only enchant equipment for peaceful purposes. Huh. So if I equip, if I, oh, that's expensive. I don't even have enough for that. See, you need 55 and I've got 12. Oh, okay. Um, I like the idea of the boosts. However, <laughs> I don't think I'm ever going to have enough money. What is that? A shovel? The Forager's Warehouse. Welcome to the Forger's Warehouse. Can I interest you in some forging equipment? Well, what do you got? A basket? <gasps> bottles. Okay, bottles are great because I need those. I'm going to buy five. Ella. I love your name, Ella. I'm going to buy five because those are for potions. But I don't really know what the baskets are for. And I think I already have a bucket. So I'm going to buy... I already... I. I mm, jars I don't know what these are for I don't know if I'm wasting my money but I'm gonna buy it anyway okay so I did have the bucket and now I got all this so I could go make some more potions I think that would be a pretty swell thing to do Ella I'm gonna leave you to your work and I'll be back uh, let's see how close am I to leveling up okay I'll probably get a, I'm, I think I'm going to stick around here and fight a few more of these death crows 
because I'm pretty close to leveling up my combat. So let's do this real quick. And there is level four. So now I can fight common thieves. Uh, I don't think I'm going to take them on right away. Uh, I kind of want to train up maybe to level six. I don't know what kind of enemies I'm going to be running into. But if I can be a little bit higher level and do some more damage, I think it's going to benefit me in the long run. So I'm going to stay here for just a few minutes until I level up a little bit more. Oh, another common guard sword. Okay. Untuned. How much does it sell for? The first stat indicates strength of the weapon. And then the third indicates the range of the weapon. Okay, so it's a melee. It's one-handed. I think we get the gist of it. Well, let's keep fighting. I'm, I think I'm pretty close to getting level five. About halfway. We'll be there soon. Oh. So there's level six. But I also got something else, too. And that's that I, I got an elegant shield. Let's see. Untuned. You must tune this armor at the obelisk before it can be equipped. Complete the quest, the obelisk, to learn more. Huh. Well, I think that's going to come in handy. I, I, I mean, a shield? And it's an elegant shield. Oh, <laughs> just how elegant is it? So there's all kinds of weapons. That's pretty neat. Uh, let's do that then. Um, the obelisk. I can start this quest by talking to Commander Hackett on the walls at the town gates. Okay, well, let's go back to the town gates and go talk to him. All right, we just have to figure out where the town gates are. I don't really know the world very well. Um, but maybe it's right here? I know this place was blocked off at the beginning. Okay, so this is the sparring. Definitely not the town gates. Uh, let's see, is it up? I can go left of town square. Let's go explore around a little bit. You know, wait, that's probably, that's probably what we need to do. I know that quests are really important, and I definitely want to do the obelisk sooner rather than later. But I don't actually know where I'm going, because I haven't really explored around at all. So, let's see. I want to find the town gates. Because I want to do the Obelisk quest. Branoff Boulevard. Okay. What's that? Periwinkle. Do I need these? Oh, I need four. Okay. Branoff Halls. Sideboard. What's in here? Oh, just a bunch of money. <laughs> Don't ask me, you know, hey, hey, all good. Burn off chambers. Why do I feel like this is going to be for a quest later on? <laughs> well, either way, he's giving me some money, so I'm not going to complain. I don't even know what I'm going to use money on other than buying stuff. But I, I was able to get this sword... And that shield from a crow. Huh. Is there anything in here? Okay, that's going to be a quest, but I don't want to do that right now. I want to try to do the obelisk quest. So why don't we try going south and see if that'll take us towards the walls? Or is this going to take us towards the walls? I don't know. <gasps> We found it. And look. Look how beautiful this is. Ancient posts. It's all the same. Whoa. Who are you? You look bored. I am. <laughs> the corporal has been up to the ladder for ages. Okay. So, well, that's who we need to talk to. It's proving difficult to fix. Well... Recruit in town. Oh, me too. I guess you're even newer than me. The name's Shanat. We should hang out sometime. Oh, yeah. That'd be cool. We can go get some beer. Um, how do I do this? He's okay. Commander Hackett at the town gate. So, well, this is the obelisk. At least I know where it's at. 
But now I need to go find the town gate. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go south. Can I make this bigger? I'm gonna go I'm gonna go east and then south and then all the way west. I'm gonna go check out this area around here and see if we can get to the town gates from there. And you know what? It might even be in a place that's more obvious than I'm, you know, making it pretty difficult on myself. I don't know, I've never been here. This is the first time exploring the map. Okay, what is in here? Will Hope Crossing. Those. Pufferfish. Um, I don't think I'm gonna explore the fishing right now. I did a little bit of it. Okay, I can't fight those. I'm going the complete wrong direction that I said I was gonna go. Uh, the door is locked a sensible measure. I wonder is there like lock picking in the game? Maybe? I don't know. Whoa. Rotten tree stump. Lots of interesting things gather in tree stumps. Can I forage it or do I need level 20? Yep, level 20. So where are we right now? Uh, okay, so if I go north, it'll take me to the Enchantress. Oh. Oh man, I'm in a I'm in a fight. It's a good thing I leveled up. See, this is this is why I trained two two levels higher than a level four is because I, I didn't know if I was gonna come into conflict or anything. But I'm really I'm really glad we stayed at those crows for a little bit. But this guy's tougher than he looks. Okay. We beat the thief. Did I get anything? No. I did not. Do I want to fight another one? Can I interact with a rat? I kind of want to fight another thief. I, I was able to beat that guy pretty easily, and I got potions, so I'm not, I'm not scared. Okay. And I got ribbed legs. Oh, and I can actually wear these. So I don't actually have to be... I don't have to attune these. Well, let's see. Let me go to the info tab. So this is what it offers. And if I go back here, so I can see where I'm at total, 3.06, and I equip those, and now I'm at, oh, much better. Well, that's great. I like that. Oh, this guy wants to rumble. Well, let's go, thief. I'm not terrified of you, probably, maybe, I don't know. Okay, and that's another one down. A guard's pike. Is that another weapon? And I can actually aware I can wear this one. And though so it it looks like so this is a melee, two hand. It's 30% chance of doing a rover disease. And it gives me 20 strength. Well, the current one that I'm using also gives me 20 strength. So let's compare the two. Um, if we go to info here, 2037 melee two hand. 20 zero. So this one, it looks like it's the same strength. Uh, I want to leave. I don't want to. Get me out of here. Okay. I guess I'm fighting. I don't want to. But I'm going to do it. See, I didn't even get a chance to equip. Okay, so don't hang. Lesson learned. Don't hang out in alleys. <laughs> don't hang out in alleyways. I just had to waste. I just had to waste one of my potions. Okay, but it's all right. We got we got a new weapon, and we're gonna keep exploring. Let's go east and see what's over here. The town gates. Oh, okay, perfect. So we completely went away with where we were gonna go, which was over here. But we ended up finding what we needed, so that's that just worked out great. What are you? Another a glint eye. And then a glint eye. You know what? I want to find one. Let's test out the new weapon we have. I think it's going to do the same strengths. But it looks cooler, that's for sure. 
And I can't even wear the shield we have anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay, and there goes the Death Crow, and we've reached level 7. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. But let's go find the captain. Are we allowed to leave? Where do you think you're going? I hope you're not deserting. Sorry about my colleague. We've been ordered to keep the gates closed. Well, I actually need the... I need to talk to C Commander Hackett at the town gates. Well, I'm at the town gates. Where's Commander Hackett? Are you up there? <gasps> you're up there. Well, how do I get up there? Is there like a... Is there like a ladder? Oh, okay. Here we go. What are you? Well, I don't want to mess with these guys. I'm just going to go up here. No, I don't want to fight. I don't. I do not want to fight. I want to get out of here. Come on. Okay. Community. Yep, yep. Please work. Thank you. All right. <laughs> okay. That was a uh, that was a little scary. Is there level recommendations for these? It says it's a one-star difficulty, so I don't think it's going to be too bad. So let's talk. Good day, recruit. That's the voice I'm giving you, Commander Hackett. Good day, sir. Said you needed a hand. Corporal Ben said you needed a hand over here. He's not wrong. Constant goblins incursions and wearing down our men and equipment. I'll give you a new sword to help fight. We've just received the new shipment. The key arrived separately for security reasons. I've got a man fetching it now. I hope that I'm not getting myself in too much trouble because those guys were level 15 down there and I'm only level 7. Uh oh. A little blighter. Catch that goblin! Okay. <laughs> okay. Is this him? The goblin thief. Oh my. Okay. Well he's way higher than me. <laughs> I've got one potion. So let's hope that I get lucky. Okay I'm gonna use this now. Swick him! Swick him! Okay, he's so close. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, this is going down the wire. <laughs> okay, we got it. I got the key. Man, I really, I really gotta train up, train on my levels. Use item. Here you go. Wait, these swords haven't been tuned yet. Ho ho ho! What does that mean? Have you seen the big obelisk near the boulevard? Oh, I sure have. It happened across earlier. It di I did happen across that earlier, yes. Oh, I'm glad my guy remembered it. I wonder if there's a dialogue that says, oh, I have no idea what you're talking about. So, much of the armor and weaponry in the world of Adothria has been tuned at magic obelisks to be powerful within the vicinity of these obelisks. Okay. Thus, any armor or weapon which hasn't been tuned to the local obelisk is comparatively very weak. These swords need to be tuned to be strong in hope. Take them to the obelisk. Okay. I'm a little scared, though. Those guys were... I mean, these guys are good. What if I can't leave? You know what? You know what? I'm going to do this. <laughs> I'm going to teleport. I forgot all about this spell. Here we go. Isn't that so much easier? Alright, so now we have to go see Commander Hackett. He's given me some swords to take the Hope Portopolis to be tuned. And if we click on it, it'll tell me exactly where it's at. And we've already been there, so shouldn't be too hard to get to. So let's go give him a visit. Alright, and here we are. So now, oh, they're like stuck. Can I, is there anything different here? No. Talk to you. The obelisk is proving difficult to fix. I need to use the obelisk for Commander Hackett. Okay. It's going to be kind of hard when it's broken. <laughs> okay. Can I help fix it? I could do with some help, thanks. This obelisk got highly damaged during the goblin attack. Well, that's not good. Notice the down spike is missing there. The goblins probably knocked it off, but who knows where it's at now. We're by a fast-flowing river, so we have a good guess of where it went. Okay, yeah, that's what I was just thinking. Downstream. Okay, let's see. Is it updated? So, Corporal Maricina 
and Shinette have mentioned the missing obelisk like may have washed downstream. Okay, so let's look at the map here, and let's go, let's go south and then just straight right through Wilhope Passage. We've been there before, we know that if we run into trouble we can at least take out the guards. There are some thieves over there, but I'm not too worried about them. I think we still have, we have none. <laughs> we have no potions, but that is okay. So let's do this. We're gonna go south. There's the river. Do you, is there anything in the river now? No, I don't see anything. So let's go east and just kind of keep following along. Until we find something of, oh wait, hold on. There it is, right there. Missing spike. Got it. Now, is it just the one? I found the missing obelisk spike. Okay, so it's just the one. So let's head back. Hello, Ambassador. Let's head back and give him this spike. I'm sure I'm glad I went to that way and not, I was gonna go north. All right, I am back. I found the missing spike. Great, try fixing it back on. <laughs> uh, okay, <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> Oh, look at that animation. I just hit it with a hammer. <laughs> That'll fix it. Just keep smacking it. It doesn't seem to fit. Let me have a go. Yeah, you try smacking it with a hammer. Well, she's clearly better than us. But, you're right, it doesn't fit. I think the plumes of the ice magic might be holding on to the spike. So what do we need, like a spell? I'm a bit stumped at the moment, but Captain DeGreen did give me this tablet which shows how to fix it. Take a look. I can't make head or tail of it. Well, let's see. Oh, I want her shirt. Or his shirt. I like the I like the style. So we have a tablet. Uh, is this it? Oh, so the quest items are all up in here. It has some sigils you don't understand on it. What does Mirasina expect me to do with this? What did you make of the tablet? It makes no sense to me. I don't recognize these symbols at all. Maybe Nabeth will know. That's a good idea. Nabeth is an old philosopher. She's very, very much into ancient cultures. She lives near the town gates. Have I been to her before? Not yet discovered, but they said near the town gate, and I was able to find where that is. So let's go take a look. I believe it's to the east. Yeah, there's the town gate. Yeah, we'll try down there. We'll go south. Actually, yeah, we're just gonna go straight east and then make our way, make our way south. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Cause I haven't uncovered this way, so. It'll be an exploration. A nice little adventure. Gosh, I really want one of those. Well, I'm not gonna go down that alley. <laughs> There's nothing good waiting for me there. The last time I went down there, I got beat up by a bunch of thieves. Look at that. We, it's just, we knew where to go. Anything of value. A bedside table. Let me steal your money, Nabeth. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Talk to Nabeth. Hello. I assume you're a figment of my imagination. <laughs> you're a figment of my imagination. Uh, I'm told you might be able to help me interpret this tablet. Okay. Hmm, this is interesting. This looks to be an ancient crin. In fact, I have some stones with these exact symbols. I rescued them one time when Captain DeGreen was having a clear out. I don't even want to know what a clear out is, but it's fine. Here you go. Maybe these will be of use. Well, what is it? Are they just, they just like, like little pictures? Wow. You know, I, I am doing my very best to be completely blind on all these playthroughs. So I haven't looked at any guides or anything. So I'm, I'm just figuring this out as I go. So if you're looking for some type of peak efficiency gameplay. <laughs> You're not gonna find it here. 
Wait a second. What was that? Discover. A wall plant? Can I forge that? I need level two forager. Huh. Well, I'm over. I'm, wow. I'm really bad at this. Okay. I think... Have you figured anything out about the tablet? Nabeth gave me these tiles which match the symbols on the tablet. I haven't figured out what to do with them. Let's try using them on it. Doesn't seem to fit. Nothing happens. Doesn't seem to be that way on these tiles. Doesn't seem to be that way on these tiles. Doesn't seem to be the way to use on these tiles. Well, I don't know. Huh. I'm at a stump. The obelisk appears to be broken. Well, can I use them on each other? See, everyone's using stuff on it. Do you know anything? Nope. Did Dave Nabeth give them to you? Yeah, she said they might be able to fix the obelisk somehow. I guess try experimenting it with the area and see what you can come up with. Huh. Oh, okay. I guess these posts. So there's four, and then there's a post. So can I inspect this? Okay. So maybe they have to go in this order. So the top left will be the fish. Well, I'm already here, so let's... Let's see. The bottom left is the arrow key looking thing. The arrow key looking thing. Okay. The right one... Let me go back here. Is the maze looking thing from the movie Prisoners. It's a good movie, by the way. I don't know if you have seen that or not. Uh, and now let's go to the top right. Let me go here. And the top right one is... Looks like a key thing, probably. Key thing. And then the, there's one more left. And that's gonna be the weird thing from the Zelda movies. Or the Zelda games. God, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get demolished for saying that. Whoa! An actual cryonite! That yeah, armor looks pretty cool. So I've been summoned somewhere. That doesn't normally happen. Must be a dire emergency for me to have been called this thusty. Thusly. Like the like the words. Okay, so let's talk to the cryo knight. Whoa. Why have I been summoned? What dire emergency have I been brought forth to deal with? The obelisk is broken. What? I've been summoned for mere tech support? <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess. Have you tried turning it off and back on again? I think the problem is this broken spike. It won't join back on. Ah, I see what's happening. The crowd isn't working. That's a simple fix. What a legend. What the? Why isn't my magic working? <laughs> Have you tried turning it off and on again? <laughs> oh, I love the dialogue. Maybe our magic suppress is blocking you. A magic suppressor? Neat, I've seen one of them in a while. Would explain certainly, I'll need to unblock it. Okay, I'll go ask Anjay. Well, luckily I know just where Anjay's at. Hi, Anjay. I sense you wish to talk to me. Is it because I opened my mouth? <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. We need you to grant magic access to a cryonite. A cryonite, really? No one has seen a cryonite in years. I didn't even know if they still existed. There's one trying to help us fix the obelisk at the moment. Okay, I'll just leave this here. I'll see you then. All right, we'll just take off. It's fine. Whatever. We were talking. It's no big deal. Okay, so we're back with Anjay. Wow, you were right, Galactic Goose. <laughs> of course I was right. Are you kidding me? An actual magic expression, sir. That'll you. Know, this is pretty all nice. But are we going to get on with fixing the obelisk? 
Yeah, we don't know this person. They just appeared and we're sure it's safe to grant magic access. It'll be fine. Cryonauts are famously honorable. Plot twist. He's a bad guy. Familiar. Huh. I'm pretty confident that'll come back in a quest, maybe. Maybe, I don't know. Let's do the trick. Try the spike on it now. Okay. Use item. Let's use the spike on the obelisk. So get in there and bang on it with a hammer. <laughs> there you go. That'll fix it. Hey, that looks pretty good. It's fixed. You said you had some sorts of tune. Let's see if it works. So if I click on the thingy, tune item, I'm gonna first tune that, because I got it in a drop. I'm gonna tune that, or I'm gonna sell it later. Now I'm gonna tune these two swords that that guard guy gave me. And one more. And he said bye. Well, that's exciting. So I have tuned one uncommon wall guard sword at the Hoport Obelisk, but not the other one. Do I have one more? Oh, I do. My bad. All right, and that is the last one. So now I think we gotta go back. Yep, now we gotta go see old commander. And while we're on the way, why don't we just equip our fun little sword there? And that bad boy. So now we've got a so now we've got a sword. Actually, did we unequip it? Where's our sword? Oh, there it is. So we got our sword here, we got our pike, and we got our shield. I think we're doing pretty good. Okay. Time to avoid conflict and get up there. All right, leave me alone, 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 leave me alone. Immunity. Get over there. No, don't hit me. Okay, we got lucky. You got stuck on a step. Those steps are those steps are oh, tough. All right, hack it. Come here. I've tuned the swords. It was more of a hassle than you expect, though, because the obelisk was broken. You're welcome, though. Brilliant. Well, I'll tell you what. If you've gone all that trouble, I'll let you keep one of the swords. What a nice guy. So we just completed our first quest. Quest complete, the obelisk. Well done, you've completed the Hopeport obelisk and thus helped keep Hopeport secure. So we can now use the obelisk. When we get drops, we can go and tune them. We also got a wall guard sword and we got 10,600 XP. So what does that give? Level 13. Okay, so we're now level 13. We can fight BDI Eye Deathcrow. And we have a new foe of a sparring guard as well. So maybe that'll be even better training. That is exciting. We got the first quest completed. And let's go here. So let's unequip this sword and compare them. So the info, so this is plus 48 and it's a two-handed. Well, we gotta, I mean, we have to do it. And well, are we gonna keep the pike? Oh, well, we can only have one two-handed, I see. Well, then we have to sell the pike. I mean, we can't keep it. There's no point in keeping it. So let's go. Let's teleport back home. And let's go see how much money we get from selling this stuff. Okay, so we're here at the quartermaster. And I want to sell him some stuff. I definitely want to sell this sword and this sword. And I don't think I'm going to keep this. Only because it's way it's not as strong as the sword we have now the guardsman that we got and even though it does that uh, uh, that poison damage i still think it's worth selling because we're not going to use it so yeah so i'm just going to sell it and i also have this shield did i sell the shield too did i sell the shield I didn't. Oh, I guess I can't sell them to this guy. I guess this is only for, you know. Well, anyway. I don't know what happened to the shield. <laughs> it's, the shield is just got long gone, I guess. 
but that is all good. Okay, so it's equipped. Never mind, false alarm. So the shield is currently equipped. That is all good. All good. No big deal. Well, now I need to figure out what I'm going to do, because I know the main story, I have to be level 60 across the board, which I can only do if I'm level 15 guardsmen to start bow training. And, you know, maybe it won't be too hard to do that. I don't know if it's the same profession. This is what I'm looking like right now. My total level is 22. So I think I need to focus a lot on on like alchemy and foraging. But we're going to worry about that next time. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this long play and laid back game style, consider subscribing if you don't want to. No big deal. I don't care. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time for episode three.